All right. Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. gets an update from Steven Espinoza, who lets people know what's going on. Uh, I think there's some misinterpretations of what he said out there. However, let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy, Fanon. So a lot of talk about the 154-pound uh, division. I think it's safe to say the 154-pound division and what is going on in the landscape there. Uh, there's conversations about Tim Zhu. Obviously, Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fondura will be fighting uh, one week from tomorrow, March 30th in Las Vegas for both the WBO and the WBC title. Uh, Tim Zhu said that after that, he may be fighting either Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford. Obviously, the Terrence, Craw Terrence Crawford fight was, the negotiations was mandated, was mandated by uh, the WBO. However, Steven Espinosa came out and gave some background on what was going on with Terrence and Errol. And the reason why I thought that that was important is because I still believe that that is a fight that's going to take place. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, Thank you so much for your continued support. It really makes a huge difference to the channel, especially to the people who support and the super thanks. But let's get into this. Um, Steven Espinosa, who was the former uh, head of Showtime Sports, who was responsible for putting on all of the PBC fights that have taken place over the last couple of years, with the exception of a few that had taken place on Fox Sports. Uh, was asked a question about what was going on with the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight. And the answer at first glance that he gave was, was at least when it was re relayed to me, and then I went to go check on it, was a little bit disturbing because they said that Errol had sustained, you know, that they, Errol definitely wanted the rematch with Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford was going to give Errol Spence the rematch. Some uh, not quite clear whether or not he said that Errol was going to give him give Terrence give Errol everything that he wanted under the t old terms of the agreement or not. I think that was a little funny the way that he said that. But he said Terrence was willing to do it. However, because Errol Spence had the had a the cataract surgery and another medical in, another medical issue where he needed clearance, it appeared that that fight was going to be put off. And so they're like, okay, they can both go look. Uh, Terrence can go look and try to figure out something else to do, right? Now, as far as what I think is going to hap happen next, and well, let me take a step back and talk about what S Stephen Espinosa said. To me, it sounds like um, that it's not sure whether or not Terrence Crawford was asking for anything additional in the in that um, negotiation, uh, it seemed like it, to me that Steven Espinosa said whether it was or wasn't everything, you know, the exact same deal, like almost calling it into question where people, other people took that as a, um, a, a validation that it was the exact same deal and Terrence Crawford was willing to do anything Arrow said and including the 154 pound, uh, the weight at 154 pounds. I'm not sure if that's what he said. Also, when he says that there was an injury, you know, that you had other medical clearances. Well, first is that he had the cataract and then he had other medical clearances. Well, the first medical clearance could have come from the knockout, the the beating that Errol took in that first fight. So there was always a period of time where a fighter is suspended and not able to go immediately back into a rematch until they get until they get clearances. And of course, the other one is the cataract is the cataract. But I have to agree with people and say that that's really not a good look. Um, it really does seem, unfortunately, that Errol Spence Jr.'s body's breaking down, you know, from one from a from a torn retina to a cataract, uh, multiple car accidents, injured ribs. 
all kind of different stuff. It just really, really does look like that accident and probably Errol's fighting style has taken a toll on him. Uh, and it's really going to be it's going to be interesting to see if if and when when or if he gets back to like where he's just absolutely at a looking at his absolute best. And it's getting kind of hard to imagine that uh, taking place. Not saying that it won't take place, but just kind of seems like it's just kind of a tough go, man. It, it looks like it looks like that's breaking down. Similarly, similar to the way what, what's going on with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is somebody else who was in a car accident earlier in his career. So a lot of people acted like he wasn't, and he was just lying about it. But ever since he was in that car, the car accident uh, that Keith Thurman was in. His body has seemed to always be having a little knickknack here, knickknack there, something just coming out. Clearly not to the extent of arrows, but same thing. But I still believe that that fight is is going to take place, and I suspect that it's going to happen somewhere in the summer, in the summertime. Now Tim Zhu has said that he would be open to fighting Terence Crawford or Errol Spence, and like I said, the the Tim Zoo fight is ordered for Terrence Crawford. So, hey, man, if he winds up doing that, he winds up doing that. You have the WBC title that's out there as well. Um, and that could very well be a situation where Terrence Crawford fights Tim Zoo for both of those uh, for both of those belts. Provided that fight, you know, provided that the PBC and the managers for T for Tim Zoo actually decide to take him that route. If an Errol Spence Jr. fight was available for him, I would suspect that he would take the Errol Spence Jr. fight first because that's how just most people's minds work. You're going to get just as much money and it's probably a, a, it's a higher likelihood that Tim Zoo will beat Errol Spence than it would that he beats Terrence Crawford. And so unless Tim Zoo was feeling like, you know, extra froggy and extra, you know, like he's really feeling like he's that man and willing to take that chance, you know, We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, it goes, man. I'm happy to see this shift up into 154 pounds for all of the fighters that had been at 147 for a long time. That Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, I still think is going to come back and fight. Well, Danny Garcia is at 160. Keith Sean Porter's retired because now that is all clearing out. Everything at 147 pounds for uh, for guys like Jerron Ennis, Stanny Onis. And the rest of the guys at that, uh, uh, Cody Crowley, who should be fighting uh, Jerron in this next, and the people that are at 140 to move up to 147. Devin Haney's probably going to move up to 147 if he beats, um, if he beats uh, Ryan Garcia, which it, honestly it looks like he will. But anyway, that's the update on the 154 pound division. Can't wait till these fights get popping off. And I'm telling you, this fight with Sebastian Fundora and Tim Zhu, I'm, I like that fight more than I liked than I was looking forward to the fight with Keith Thurman and Tim Zhu. Because Keith Thurman had been off for so long, and he, and he probably did need a lower-level fighter to come back and fight with. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.